Hey everybody, this week we are doing toy photography. Um, yeah, I think it's cool and I know y'all got toys lying around somewhere. I do and I'm old and you're not. So you can literally use any kind of toy you have to create your own scene. Now this is a great example here for those of you who are Star Wars fans. On the next slide, I have videos and hacks. I will be putting these in Schoology for you so you can click on them. Um, I, full disclosure, I have not watched all of them all the way through, but a lot of them are showing you different ways on how you can use your iPhone or your iPad to create all sorts of different effects with toys. Here is gonna be the video I'm gonna show you. It'll be your discussion for the week and it's super cool. And here is, there's more videos in the slideshow that you can watch if you want that have different artists and different styles of toys. Um, there is a famous artist who created a world car called Marwin Call, and this is this artist here. Um, he was beaten up really badly and lost his memory, and he was an artist. And when he came to, he no longer had the use of his hands because of neurologically like things that happened to his brain. So he started to create an entire world with like the large size G.I. Joes and Barbies. It's really pretty cool what he did. Um, here's another artist who creates using basically like toys y'all had when you were kids. Um, I love his different sound effect or his different um, visual effects. He literally just throws dirt like there's a video on him just throwing dirt and photographing it, and that's how he gets these effects here. Um, the next slide is going to be how somebody like literally recreates these scenes um, using found objects and toys. That one's pretty creepy looking. Um, this is one of my favorites I found with Maltesers. I don't know if you've ever had them. They are way better than Whoppers. They're from Europe. And I love how the scene here with like the small characters like breaking them apart. So you can use all sorts of things. The whole point of this project is the scene. How do you set the scene? It is not, oh, I'm going to set my stuffed animal on my bed and take a picture. That's not what I'm looking for, people. Okay, I'm looking for you literally setting the scene. What's going to be in the background? I mean, literally, you can use food. Um, anything you're going to do to make a mess, I need you to have permission. Obviously, this person has these little figurines, but it can be, this is a Barbie doll. Um, the background of this is actually a magazine piece. So they found a picture in a magazine, and the way they set up this Barbie, um, I believe this hat was cut out of a magazine and added to the Barbie. There are so many different things you can do. Um, this is an example of a very, like, I think it's cool, but this is not what I'm looking for. Um, I love how it's set up. Think about what you can put in the background. Now notice that it's not blurry in the front. The, the foreground isn't blurry. The background is. However you want to set yours up is fine. Love this one, utilizing nature with the Incredible Hulk character. Um, yeah, you Starbucks fans. This is a sponge, and they created these little trees. Uh, macaroons, hello, little Lego people. A lot of you have little siblings. Um, a lot of you still have your toys. Again, I still have mine. Love this one where it's the chicken Lego piece and then the broken egg that they literally drew inside. Um, there are, look at the, it's not Fanta, but it's the same brand as Fanta. And like having the grapes come out, super creative. Yeah, I know not school appropriate, but also, you know, appropriate for the times with the Scott tissue and people guarding it. Thought that was pretty funny. Um, at the end, you are going to have this as an upload. I need you to put your picture here inside the picture frame and tell me your story. Okay, my toy story. Like literally this should have a story to it. It should have a reason you're creating it. My favorite one to look at is this. Like what a story this could tell. It's during the pandemic. Like toilet paper is almost impossible to get to at this time. So tell me a story. Um, again, Please don't just set your stuffed animal on your bed and take a picture. Not what I'm looking for. You will not pass the project. I am looking for you to set the scene. What can you come up with? Look up other toy artists. There are so many people out there that are creating this type of photography. It's so fun and so cool. Go outside. Work with different camera lenses or different camera angles on your iPad, on your phone. Look up other tutorials. See what you can come up with. You might be shocked and surprised with what you can do. So this is the project this week. Again, to turn it in, this must be completed with your picture in the picture frame and tell me your story. This should be sentences, people, not words. It should make sense when I read it. Um, I'm not looking for literally sentences after sentences, but I'm looking for a gist. Tell me what's going on in your story and why.
Okay, if you've got any questions, let me know. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Bye.